friends. Welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we're getting into my boxy charm. It's totally my boxy charm. Let's get into it quickly. Get me some lips. Let's check it out. is a box. They were a company. They merged with Ipsy. The middle bag, which is what this is, is $28. They call it the BoxyCharm box. This is also the box that will have your boost in it. I think I might have done a couple of add-ons also, and I know I chose a couple of lip products, so I came up without lip products on, so let's dive into it. My lips feel naked. Fall has arrived. It's only going to be 80 degrees outside today, so we are back upstairs taping. I am pretty excited about it. This is what it looks like when we open it up. This is the September box. We have our paper that looks kind of like a small newspaper. Isn't that so cute? It will have information about the BoxyCharm on the inside. Does this say Ipsy also? No, this is BoxyCharm, yay. I have Mr. iPad up here so I can give you good detailed information about the products. When you get the small original Ipsy Glam bag, you get a little card and it generally does tell you about your specific products, but the BoxyCharm and then the Ipsy Icon, which is their bigger $60 box, generally don't give you your information up and see what they did tell us. Find your groove. You possess a rhythm entirely your own. So this month, let it be the soundtrack to the journey of your self-expression and growth. Oh, it says get to know your picks. And you can scan there. We'll scan that in a second. We'll see what it's telling us. Oh, it says back by popular demand. In October, shop our 25-day advent calendar worth more than $600. I wonder how much it's going to be. Hmm. Let me know below if you want me to get that so that I can show it. The FabFitFun one also just dropped. I didn't pick it up. I looked through it. It didn't look like a lot of products that I thought I would use, so I took a pass. But if you really want me to get it, let me know below. When we open it up on the inside, we have what they call power picks, and it says they are the trendiest and buzziest products around. I think I think I have one, and I, th <laughs> I think that that's one that they chose for me. I don't think I chose for myself any of the trendiest or buzziest products around. Okay, let's scan the scan thing on the front. You scan on the QR code, it just takes you over to your Ipsy app, which you probably have signed into you, so it shows you all of your lovely products, and that's why I brought Mr. iPad, so we'll have all the information. We are gonna jump right in with the lips. I am not liking the way I look at all today. I did a new tutorial because I have very hooded eyes. I did a new tutorial for a way to do your eyes and she left off the darker part that I always do out here. It's the in your crease, then just a light shimmer across your entire lid. I really think I need that extra color over here. I think as you get older, your color kind of fades and I think that extra pop is needed. But I know it will fix it for now and that is some lips, so. First out of the box, and this was one of my choices, it is the House Labs by Lady Gaga, Les Monster Lip Crayon, and I got it in Peach Matte. Hmm. Is that what it was called that I selected? I love that the beauty of my iPad is I can make the words as big as I want them to be. Unleash your inner glam monster with this warm toned, orange brown lip crayon. I have to admit those words orange brown make me a little nervous. Thanks to House Tech Powered Innovations, it contains a powerful cocktail of goodness, mango seed oil, moisturizers and nourishes, lip boosting peptides, enhance natural volume, hyaluronic filling spheres help naturally plump and firm, ceramides restore your skin's moisture barrier, and vitamin E smooths and conditions your lips. Phew, they said phew and I agree. All right, <laughs> let's get in here and see what this orange, <laughs> this empty lip could take a turn for the worse as an orange lip. Oh my goodness, <laughs> if that is any indication into what we are getting to. Oh wow, oh and my nails. I am so addicted to doing the maniology. I, I am loving it. Okay, I think this is, yeah, I'm trying to pull that off. I think it is just decorative. That is what that looks like. Let's line these babies. How orange this is. That's not horrible. I mean, if I walked into a store and tried this, would I buy it? Probably not. But it's not bad. It's kind of neutral. Do you guys line your lips? I have good days and bad days. Some days I'm like, I definitely have to line my lips, especially if I'm wearing like a red or a darker lippy and I wanna keep it all contained, but it's something I have to make myself do. And when I was a kid, kid, <laughs> in my 20s and maybe even early 30s, they always tried to get you to do lip liner. And back before I had lines that would make it bleed, I never did. 
in all fairness, and in my defense, back in the day, lip liners were pencils that always had to be ch -ch -ch -ch, uh, sharpened. <laughs> Everything comes with a visual instead of a word. They had to be sharpened, and they were usually, usually pretty firm. It wasn't a pleasant experience. This was very creamy and very nice in the correct color. I bet I would love it. Of course, this whole time I'm referring to this as a lip liner and it's just a lip crayon. We have two, two Femme, oh, by Too Faced, Hardcore Lipstick in Too Femme. Oh, that looks like me for sure. Oh, it's so cute, it's a heart. Oh, I don't think I've ever had one of these. Can you guys tell? That is so cute. And there's a heart in the middle, literally heart core. Oh, I love this color. I probably should not have lined in orange. Let's see how it goes. I had to take my eyeglasses off because with my five by mirror, it actually becomes too much. We'll read about this in a second. Oh, that feels good. Ugh. <laughs> it is very pink, especially compared to that orange crayon I just used as a liner. Oh my goodness. Oh well. I'm also making an allure video after this, so if you when you see my lips looking wild, flash back to this moment. This feels fantastic. And whether the color combination is perfection or not, my lips already feel so much better. That is so stinking cute. Let's read all about this. It has a $26 value and it says, looking for your signature lip? This pretty pink nude is fantastic. Its weightless formula makes it easy to wear all day, while the heart core blend of shea butter and acerola cherry extract help keep your lips soft and supple. It does feel really good. Did I tell you how much the House Labs lippy was? That nice lippy that I acted like was a liner but is actually just a lip crayon had a $22 value. Just in my two lippies, I have $48 and it was a $28 box. I will put a link down below over to Ipsy. I am in no way affiliated with Ipsy. I've just gotten it for, I just had my five year anniversary for the channel. I'm gonna do a giveaway for that really soon. You guys know I just put it at the ends of my videos but I can't believe it's been five years. So I've had Ipsy longer than five years and I am in no way affiliated with them. My last choice was the Luna Magic Soft Perfection. And this is a foundation, it's in light. I chose this. If you watch the channel, you guys know, I just got new Too Faced makeup. I like the Ultra HD and they changed it to, what's the new name? HD something else. <laughs> I'll put it here. And I got both the liquid and the powder foundation. I like them both a lot. But I would like to have another powder foundation that I like to stick in my purse for when I'm out. On days where I'm not really taping or doing anything extra special, I really like to use powder foundation. I feel like it gives my face a break. I don't need as much coverage. It just feels easier. This feels, oh my gosh, can you guys see that? That is like all glittery. It feels it feels rough. It's kind of glittery and shiny. This would be perfect in a purse because it's going to be so pretty. It is Luna Magic. And like I said, yeah, it's just light. And on the inside, that is what it looks like. The whole other side, this, this whole side here is a mirror. I'm going to show the front since it's so pretty. This has a $30 value and it says flawless skin coming right up. This talc free and vegan formula feels as light as a feather on your skin, creating a filter like effect that smooths out your complexion and helps minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines. Infused with the goodness of shea and cocoa butters, it not only delivers a soft matte finish, but also helps keep your skin nourished and hydrated. And all of those words were part of why I chose it also. I love that it's vegan. I really love that it's talc free. It has a really nice feel, kind of creamy. God, can you see it on my super duper light skin? I think you can. I think that's gonna be perfect on my face. That is super pretty and the color looks good for me and it says all the right words. So the value of my box just in my choices is $78. Their choices for me, <laughs> where I hit a little bit of a roadblock. They picked the Yensa Pink Lotus Peptide Renewal Face Cream. And that is what that looks like. And as I recall, when I saw that this had been picked for me, I looked it up and there's something in it that I can't use. I think grapefruit oil. Let me show you what the tube looks like though. That is what it looks like. Oh, it's one of the flatter ones. I like the tubes that are kind of wide and flat. I, I like the way they hold in my hand. 
I just like the way they look too. This has a $48 value. It is 1.7 ounces. Everything in this box will be full sized. And it says hit refresh on your complexion with this anti-aging face cream. It uses antioxidant rich pink lotus extract and firming peptides to help brighten, depuff, and smooth tired and dull skin. Well, I'm gonna lose, leave this completely closed because like I said, I'm 99.9% .9 confident it had gin, grapefruit, not ginger, grapefruit extract in it and I can't use that. So I will set that aside. Next out. We have the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. Vitamin C, I can't do either, you guys know. It's a little too aggressive for my skin. Unfortunately for me, I can't use either of the picks that Ipsy made for me this month. There's unfortunately no way of letting them know what you're allergic to in the way they do their profile. Someday, perhaps. This is a $38 value. It is full-sized. They're all full sized. And it says, say, see you later. And the C is a C. Two puffy eyes and dark circles with this multiple award winning vitamin C infused eye cream. This vegan and cruelty free gel formula is powered by 10% encapsulated vitamin C, antioxidant rich guava, a tone evening niacinamide blend, energizing green caffeine, and plumping peptides to brighten your entire eye area. It looks so cute. It looks like all of the Glow Recipe products. I love the looks of the bottles. This one looks like most of them are pink because of the product on the inside. This one to me, it looks like it's a pink bottle. So I don't know what's going on in there. I'm not going to squirt it because I am going to set this aside for the giveaway too. Also, <laughs> And you could say I made the choices that I had to make and the choices they made for me. We're looking forward to this giveaway that I am planning. This is also the box that your boost comes in. It comes in your BoxyCharm unless it's an icon month. Because just like with, when you were with BoxyCharm, if you got the regular box and the Lux, on the month that you got the Lux, you didn't get your regular box. If you get the Ipsy Icon box, which comes out seasonally on that month, you don't get your boxy charm, so your boost comes in your Lux. The boost is an extra $15 per month. This is what they chose for me this month, and nothing else that I could have switched it to was better for me, so I went ahead and left it because I know that the Herbivore products are fantastic, and I figured one of you guys would love it. In the giveaway. <laughs> this is the Herbivore Moondew 1% Bacuchiol Peptides Retinol Alternative Eye Cream. Let me show you what the little bottle looks like. They're always, I love the look of all of the Herbivore products. They're so simple and yet something about them just looks very classic to me. Like it just deserves to be sitting on your vanity or on your bathroom counter, whatever works for you. So this has a $48 value. Need to fake a good night's sleep? This eye cream can help. Infused with 1% Bacuchiol, a natural plant-derived alternative to retinol and powerful plant peptides, it smooths out fine lines and wrinkles for a lifted, youthful look. Plus, with continued use, it helps visibly firm up pesky eye creases without any irritation. <laughs> Probably. After you go in and make your choices, and if you're new to Ipsy or Boxy, when you go in to make your choices, they have generally selected like six or nine products for you. It's little rows and you will pick which one of those works best for you. Then that's what you'll receive in your box in addition to what they selected for you. And after you do your customization, they take you over to a sale. <laughs> always a sale and it's the add-on sale and they have smaller products like what I picked up bigger products they have bundles so many choices and if it's something that you happen to use it's really usually a really good price I am on my ever-ending foundation search always looking for the newer better I used to love the Too Faced Ultra HD I replaced it with what they replaced it with Too Faced it away with the Ultra HD they tweaked it a little bit I am using what they replaced it with I like it. I don't love it. I loved the Ultra HD. I like this one. So the search continues. Unfortunately, I have to start writing down what I've tried because I don't remember. So I ordered this and it might be I ordered this comma again and it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay and I got it in 1-4 or so 14 <laughs> in ivory. And it's just a tiny little trial size. It was probably $3 if I were guessing. 
And a lot of times, always worth trying, even if you don't want to pay for an extra, always worth trying to put one in your cart down below and then check your cart because a lot of times they give you a credit. That is what that looks like on my hand. Let's see how the color does. Oh, it's very thick. Oh my goodness. That might dry down. Can you guys see where I put it? That might dry down a little too much for me. It feels thick and it feels a little bit like, wow, like it's gonna dry down. It looks like it would be a lot of coverage. I mean, I'm gonna try it. We'll see how it does. The other choice that I made is the Deco X Beauty and it's just a glass nail file. You guys know I have been head over heels loving my Maniology products. So I'm staying on top of my nails and I misplaced my glass nail file. I have no idea how I could have done that. And they are absolutely, my nails from the side tend to want to rip really easily and sand or grit, like sandpaper, but original, the old fashioned emery boards, I think that they add to the breakage that I get on the side of my nails. But when I use these, I don't seem to get that same breakage. I ordered another one in addition to the one that I had that I loved just so that I would have a backup I could keep in my nightstand if I wanted. And that is when I discovered not all glass nail files are equal. The one that I have, really, you could file your nails with it. The second one that I purchased basically just skimmed over it. It wasn't as good. So I ordered this, I figured for $3, we would give it a try. My nails are done, let's see if I think I can tell. Oh yeah, that feels like it's gonna work. I don't wanna do too much because I don't wanna mess up my manicure. I think this is gonna work like a really nice nail file. And I love that it had its own little case. So I thought for $3, I would give this a try and I think it's gonna work. So that's perfect. I went ahead and joined with my own monies, the Maniology monthly subscription and I've gotten my first one. So I can't wait to go down and give it a try. I think I'm gonna tape that tomorrow. Can't wait. Back to Ipsy. <laughs> that is my Ipsy box. So we have what they chose for me, the Yenta face cream, the Glow Recipe eye cream, and then my boost was the Herbivore eye cream. That's interesting because those were both choices they made for me and they're both eye creams. Hmm, interesting. Didn't think about it because I knew I couldn't use either one, but they chose two eye creams. I then chose the powder foundation, Looks like it's gonna be fantastic and it's gorgeous. Can't wait to put it in my purse. I got the Too Faced Heartcore, which is at the middle of my lips and the House Labs <laughs> Orange Matte Lip Crayon. It's not a liner, you can use it all over your lips. I don't think it's a great color for me for all over my lips, but it's not horrible with this little pink lippy even. And then I just did the two little add-ons. I did the Glass Nail File and the Tarte Foundation. This was $28 plus $2 shipping, I think, so $30. Let me get you value on just my box because I also pay $15 additional for the Boost and that was a $48 value, I remember that. Let's check out the rest of it. The full math of the situation is it was $164 just in regular box products. The two products they chose for me had an $86 value. The three products I chose for myself had a $78 value, which gave us the $164, and that would have been $30. They say $28, but then there's also $2 shipping. And then the Boost had a $48 value, and it added $15 to the cost of the box. So the entire box with the Boost had a $212 value and it was $45. The only reason I break that up is the products they chose for me, $86, the products I chose for myself, even though there was one more, $78, is because I'm, I chose those products. I chose two lippies. Those are probably some of the least valued things you can choose in an Ipsy box, but they probably offered me really nice skincare products that had way more value that I just didn't choose. So I just want you to know what I chose and what the value was of what I chose. So $164 for just the regular BoxyCharm box without the boost for $30. It's about five and a half times what you pay for in value. That's really good. Thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you taking the time to be here with me. I hope you will consider subscribing if you don't already subscribe and consider giving us a thumbs up and hitting the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. Have a great evening, guys. Bye.